Hi and welcome. In this episode, I have some really easy thrift store transformations that will take literally minutes to do. And these salt and pepper shakers from my last video, I promised I would do something with them. And I want you to stay tuned to the very end DIY to see how I transform them. So the first thrift store transformation is just a single shaker that I found. There wasn't two, unfortunately, but I've seen this on Pinterest before where people have just taken a single shaker and put flowers in it. So I didn't have any smaller ones with um, wire on them, so I thought it'd be cute just to glue them on like this. And you can still pull them right off if you want to change it up or uh, use the actual shaker another time. So I'm just gluing them on and then um, after I do this I put this ribbon on but when I tied it on it kind of looked like a scarf so I ended up taking that off. I didn't like it. The video at the end shows it on um, but you can do whatever you want, the colors you want, the type of flowers you want. It just turns out super cute either way. This next transformation, I received this free in a bunch of bottles, um, Avon bottles, and I believe it's a vintage glass insulator. It might be marble, it might be milk glass, I'm not 100%. So I had this little tiny greenery and I thought it'd be really cute to put it in this. And just I'm just bending it um, off and just making it so it's not sharp. And then I am putting it in there. I'm just gonna arrange it the way I want it and then super glue the edge so it doesn't uh, come out when you move it. And I thought it was a cute idea. You could set it anywhere in your vintage collection, even in your farmhouse uh, decor or in your kitchen. It turns, turned out really cute. And when you're going thrifting, just make sure to keep an eye out for those little things. It's just easy to make something pretty again. And I've just put that cute little ribbon on there to give it that farmhouse look and we're done. That's how easy it is. This next transformation didn't come from the thrift store, but it came from my sister. She was getting rid of some old decor and it's just as easy as the other one. Just cutting uh, down some flowers from the Dollar Tree and just putting them in there and it would be cute with any kind of flower that you have um, to match your decor but this is what I had on hand so I thought I would just show you what it would look like and this other little spool it's just smaller so I'm just putting shorter ones in and making it kind of like a cute little set and again any colors you want and any type of flowers and they just turn out super cute So I looked at the taller one and it had only two and I thought it needed another taller piece so I'm just cutting another one so I can put it in the center. Now this transformation, I picked up these from the thrift store. I paid $1.50 a piece and they're antique spools. I thought they were so cool. So I only had red candles, so I thought I would make them into just cute little candle holders. It was that simple. I found this cute idea on Pinterest for buttons, and I thought it would be a perfect idea for a transformation of a thrift store shaker, salt shaker. And so here is what you'll need. I got this paper on Amazon. I think I paid $9 or $10 and it's got all these colors and it's two-sided so you just um, have to use one side or the other. But they did have some cute retro colors in there and that's why I chose it. And so then I'm just using some flowers but not the flower part, just the leaves because I'm going to cut them down. And you need wire cutters, wire, hot glue and of course your shaker after it's all washed and clean from the thrift store. Then of course you'll need some buttons and the buttons I have 
were my mother's. Uh, she collected them throughout the years when she was alive and a few years before she passed she gave me a bunch of them and I thought this would be a really cute gift for my sister for her birthday. Since she doesn't have any of my mom's buttons I thought this is a great way to put it together for a gift. Then I have these two cute little bees that I thought I would put on two of the flowers and make it look even cuter. So first we're going to want to put some type of foam inside and I thought it would be easy to just cut a part of a pull noodle from the Dollar Tree and just stick it in there. And now I'm, I chose this color of the paper and I'm just cutting it down to size because we're just going to roll it up like this and put it inside of the jar part. Then after you've got that all straightened out you want to grab your noodle <laughs> in order to hide that blue on the top I thought it would be a good idea just to take a piece of the paper and cut it into a circle and stick it on top then you just want to put your lid back on and look how pretty it is already so now you want to grab your wire. This is a 20 gauge wire that I've gotten off of Amazon and I will have that link in the description for you so it'll be easy to find. And I'm just measuring about where I want to put um, the flower, the first flower. And I punctured it through the paper so that it would go into the, the foam. And this is the first button that I'm picking and it has a little back on it to hook the wire to. And I'm just um, doing it inside this so I know approximately how long I want to do these for the first one. And I'm just um, pushing that down and using the uh, pliers because my fingers won't work very well with this. <laughs> and it's really simple to work with. I, I just, I'm a weakling. <laughs> so then um, as you can see it came out but I'm still measuring so I make sure how tall I want it then I kind of wrapped it around my fingers to make it um, kind of wiry I guess and then um, hot glued the back of it so that it would stick to the wire and it would face forward instead of flopping around so there's the first one now I'm measuring for the bigger button so that's going to be a little taller of course because it's a bigger button and this time I thought it'd be easier to put it on here first and get that all situated and glued and then uh, work on the wrapping it around your finger to make it a little uh, curvy and see there I'm showing you what the back looks like and just gluing that back onto the uh, wire and look how pretty it looks I love that button and then just wrapping it around my finger like that and then pulling it out so it looks kind of like it's growing out different directions and then just do the same thing you want to just puncture it through so it gets into that foam so it can have the stability it needs and then you just continue on with your button um, and keep doing it until you have enough buttons that you want to make a full bouquet of flowers. Now these had holes in the center which made it even more easy so that you can just um, like thread it like, like normal thread and then just twist it around and do the same thing. I clipped off extra um, excess wire so it didn't poke out and then just glued it down as well. And it would be so pretty with all kinds of colors, just different colored buttons. I just love this idea. This one's a little flower looking one. I thought it was really cute and did the same thing. So then um, just over and over and over again until you have enough to make the bouquet. And look how cute it is already. I've got almost all of them done and just finishing up this last one.
And now we're all done with the flower part. Look how cute. At least the button part. Now I've just got those bees and I'm gonna glue one on that big flower, the big uh, black and white flower. And they turn out so cute. And then I'm gonna put one on that pink one in the center, sort of center. And it's just really cute. I just love this. I love how it turned out and I hope my sister loved it. I gave it to her on the weekend. So now I'm just cutting the leaves down to make small leaves, kind of long and pointy, and gluing those on each of the flower stems so it'll be on the wire. Just putting a little glue on each end there and placing it where I think it would grow. And look how cute. And then just do it all the way around until you've got them all filled. Now you can skip this step all together and just leave it the way it is, if you like it the way it is. Um, but I kind of liked the idea having the, the cute little leaves on it. So now I have all the leaves and I'm just gonna put another ribbon around the neck of the shaker to kind of spruce it up a bit and make it look like a cute little flower arrangement. And I think it turned out so adorable. Let me know in the comments what you think because I, I really think it turned out cute. See? <laughs>